Ilahat is 15, lives in Kabul, and wishes she could go to school. But Ilahat and her family are part of the Jogi minority, effectively a stateless people in Afghanistan. They have no official identification and no right to an education. Most yogis migrated from Tajikistan and Uzbekistan to Afghanistan during the Soviet era. They once lived a semi-nomadic life, but many are now settled in Afghan cities. But though some families have been here for generations, most do not have the rights of citizens. Afghan IDs require a permanent residence, something jogis rarely have due to their nomadic roots and poverty. And without documents, they have no right to attend school, vote, own land, or even be buried in a cemetery. The Afghan Ministry of Refugees and Repatriation says jogis do have the legal right to apply for ID cards. But many jogis have been unable to prove their residence or navigate the bureaucratic system. They say their situation is worsened by what some describe as pervasive prejudice. With so many out of work, families live in poverty. Some jogi women beg on the street or work as fortune tellers, while many men work in menial jobs. And children like Ilahat dream of a future life with the full rights of a citizen.